think we should be getting ready to roll now. Give me one second to make sure everything is good and rolling. I see Michael Adewol is here. I see Joshua Pokemon Goer. Welcome, folks, to the stream today. Yeah, looks like things are rolling along. So welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here. The lab coat's on back order. And time for another one of our quick little... Not super quick, really, but one of our Pokemon Go gifting live streams here on the channel. How's it going, you're asking? Not super good. Not really feeling so good today. I took yesterday off, for those of you that might not have been aware, because I just wasn't really feeling super amazing, and I thought, maybe I'll feel better today. Not quite so much, but I mean, I'm here now. I'm here to do our stream, and I'll see if I'm feeling up for doing the Wonder Trade stream later tonight. Have a few uh, hours of rest, I guess, you know, see if I can heal up for that. And yeah, we'll see how things go. Hello to Unknown Spike as well. So without any further ado, we are here for some gifting. I've got my usual 10 gifts saved up, I think. I'm pretty sure I got 10. I was out doing some of my errands today, and yep, I got stocked up at 10. I was also trying to refill all of my Pokeballs that I could possibly get for EV Day tomorrow. And Sunday, actually. Pokemon Go Community Day for Eevee, of course. Oh, wait. I just realized if I'm going to be opening gifts, i got to throw some stuff out. My uh, items are filled up. Hang on here. I don't need the Great Balls. Uh, I want to hang on to the potions for now. I guess I can start tossing some of the uh, Nana Berries, because I don't use those other than just feeding Pokemon. But i got plenty of other berries to make use of. All right. So let's just get things rolling right off the bat. You know the routine. I'll say go in the chat. And as soon as you see the word go, I'm going to ask for a, f a bunch of usernames from the viewers. The first two names I see that pop up in the chat, which I do have set to live once again, in case anyone's name doesn't happen to pop up. Then I'll send out a couple gifts. I'll open up five of my own. Do another thing where I say go. A couple more gifts sent out. And so on and so forth. All right. Without any further ado, -ski. There we go. There's the first go. Let's see what names pop up. While we wait for that to happen, I'll show that I did get a raid boss complete today. I got Absol. Not super amazing. Actually, let me check. I don't think it's super great. Really strong with really strong HP. So not amazing. I've gotten some better ones in the past, but that was at least a level 4 raid. I got a TM for that one. I got, well, experience points. And I hatched Alolan Geodude. They are now hatchable, apparently, from the Alolan eggs. I didn't know that. First one I've hashed gave me enough candy to evolve my uh, Alolan Graveler Galvana, which I'll do later on. All right, so I see the first couple names have been mentioned. We have Michael Adewall. Let's go based on name. Scroll down and find Michael. Scroll, 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 scroll. All this fun stuff. All right, and what we're gonna do since we're here on your screen, I'm gonna open your gift as we're giving you one. So let's uh. Let's look at this. I'll open this. Now, I've noticed they've taken away the view in map button. I've, I was always saying, be careful if you're sending a gift from near your house because it'll show the coordinates. Maybe they took it out because of stuff like that for, like, you know, privacy sake. They realized maybe it's a bit of a risk. I could actually read that. I'm not going to, but I could probably recap that later on. So we're going to open this, and then I'll send out a gift to you there. We have, what I'm looking for mostly will be Pokeballs and Pinat Berries, because, or Stardust is good too, because I want to get as many good items to catch more EV tomorrow and Sunday as I possibly can. So first gift from the St. John City Market out to Michael. Off and running. Let's sort by nicknames. I know Pika Catcher is near the top. We'll open up gift number two. We're doing a uh, double duty right now here. Greetings from the Biblioteca Nicola Nicolai Iorga. We'll just go with that. <clears throat> I'm not as coffee right now. Maybe later I will be, but not as much as I've been in the past, at least. All right, so let us send a gift out to you. And since there's only a few of us here today, I think I'm just going to go ahead and jump the gun. I'm going to send out one to you as well, Joshua. Pegasus uh, 1987, I believe it shows up as. So I will do that for sure. Let's go with, well, go based on nickname here, Pegasus. I'll send a third gift in this first batch. Gonna find where you is at. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There we go. So we'll open this one as well. From the War of 1861 Soldiers and Soldiers and Sailors Memorial. War of a different kind. No matter what kind it is, war is never an amazing thing, of course. Not that I know from firsthand experience, but I took history class in school, so I know about that stuff. Alright, let's send a gift out to you as well, Joshua. 
from the Charles Gorman World Speed Skating Champion Monument Memorial thingy thingy. All right, now let's open another couple of gifts from my locals here. Actually, go over to the uh, friends level. We got from Kariko 123. It's gonna be gift number four from the Knights of Columbus statue, a statue commemorating the Knights of Columbus project in 1992. I'm going to pop this open. I don't see a lot of other people here, so I don't know who to send the next gifts out to. Huh. Maybe... I'll just wait until more people show up before sending the next gifts out. I'll just keep opening gifts right now and see what we get. I think that's probably the best thing. I don't want to just send out random gifts. Like I've already sent a bunch of gifts to local people anyways, and if no one's here by the end of the stream, I will hang on to the gifts maybe until later on. So from the Harbor Passage Uptone Entrance... Uptone, Uptown Entrance Stone Plaque. From oh come on, here we go. Manage items. Uh yeah, great balls. We can toss them. And I toss out another ten of our nana berries because I don't use them. Those prevent me from catching Pokemon. I mean, it slows them down, but I like the regular uh, the raspberries because it makes them easier to catch. Pinup berries because you gain extra candies. So we got gift number five. I didn't even see the first thing. I think it was just Stardust. Stardust and Stardust, I believe, from Brighter49. And I don't Spike saying, open the second gift. And Joshua says, you'll send another after stream of a different location. If you got one. All right, sounds cool. Hello to Tina in the chat. That would be Kariko, who I have sent a gift to already. I did get a bunch of local gifts sent out. What I was doing today, what I usually do on days when I'm going to do in the stream, I'll wait till I get 10 gifts. I'll send one gift out and then get another one. Then I'll send that 10th one out, get another one, yada, yada, yada. That way I want to make sure I have 10 stored up for when I get back home to do some of the streaming. All right, so let's go with nickname again. I guess, like I said, I'm just going to burn through some more gifts that I have from maybe some local people or from Pika Catcher here from Romania. Let's open this one. Gift number one of batch number two. And yeah, I don't know who to send out the other gifts to. I can only send one gift to each person per day, of course. So I've got you folks covered. I may have to just basically hang on to the gifts till later on. Oh, yes, Joshua, I was reading that on Twitter. I saw your response. I heard about that. <sighs> Hopefully, it can be fixed. Hopefully, it's not as terrible as uh, it seems like it might be. But if it is, it's definitely uh, bad to hear that your Wi-Fi card may not be working for the computer now. Or your, uh, your girl's computer, you said. <sighs> Gotta love technology when it works for us, don't ya? Alright, let's open up some more local gifts here, I guess, for the time being. Greetings from Community. A memorial. Now I wanna read this one. To thank, remember, and welcome back those who have served our country. Dedicated on... What's that? On this day, Friday, September 28th, I think, 2007. Let's see what we get from... This one here. Stardust, excellent. More Pokeballs for EV captures all weekend long. Nice stuff. I'll definitely take some of those. And, wait, who was Tax Mom walking? Evie Amaz. I wonder if she's getting that ready for Community Day. It's possible. All right, let's open from Perf Stranger. Now, we're trying to see if we can get, me and Perf Stranger here, boosted up to the Ultra Friends level. From the King Square Bandstand, we've taken a look at that before. Let's just pop this open and see if we build up. We've got Stardust. We've got more Stardust. And we got no level up. We already sent a gift out to Perf Stranger there. Four more days until Ultra, or Ultra Spike. Unknown Spike and myself become Ultra Friends. Very cool stuff. Let's open... Was that gift four? I've already lost track. Basically, I'm just going to keep opening gifts. I don't even know why I'm marking the, the, uh, the D6 over here. I'm just going to keep opening until we run out of gifts to open. So you do have a phone cord, Joshua says. You can connect to the router. It's just connected to X... It's, it's connected to the Xbox One. Oh, okay, so you have to disconnect that. I mean, as a, a Nintendo fanboy, I'll say, that's not a big loss. Just turn that Xbox One off. Who needs that? No, I'm just kidding. I know about video games and stuff and how people, you know, they like their things. I've said before where I've always been sort of, I do admit, I have grew up as a Nintendo fanboy. And uh, 
I was... I felt like I was betraying Nintendo when I would play so much of... Uh, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog on Genesis and Sega systems and stuff. So... But I really like the fact that eventually Sonic games came to the Nintendo consoles. Which is really awesome. So Tina has dropped a friend code in the chat. By the way, that reminds me too. I was going to mention this, but I completely forgot because I am a fool. I'm going to set up another channel on Discord. Oh yes, by the way, those of you that might not be aware, I have Discord set up now, as well as Instagram. You can check out both of those. Discord will be a nice way to chat between streams, between videos. I'm going to set up a channel for Pokemon Go. I'm going to put in the description saying that people can exchange their friend codes and such there. So look for that. As soon as the stream is done, I'll fire up Discord and get that ready to roll. Joshua caught Mewtwo today. You're technically 5 for 5. You caught all of them. <laughs> You're a Nintendo fanboy too. You're just not a PlayStation fanboy no more. Did PlayStation hurt you in some way? What did they do? Not that I know. I mean, I haven't... I, I probably have played PlayStation. I just don't remember it. What? This is going to be fun. I always got to discard some of the stuff. But I got to save the Pokeballs and the uh, pinat berries and probably the raspberries. I'll just toss all the nana berries out. I'll be getting more of those, I'm sure. What I think is weird is that you don't happen to get um, any other kind of berries from these gifts, though. I would have expected you might get some of the regular, you know, raspberries or something, but it's only ever pinat berries. Not that I'm complaining. I do use them, of course. But it's strange that they would only have that one. And you use it for... Yes, chatting about Pokemon TCG Online, right. I have that set up on Discord as well. I'm going to basically, I want to have one channel for each of the main things that I have on the channel. Pokemon Go, Pokemon TCG Online, and the uh, 3DS games. So I think we have one channel for each. Oh, look at that! Peter C. 1974 caught Raikou. Awesome stuff. I don't know if there's any more locals that have sent a gift to me just yet, though. And I resisted the urge to open gifts while I was going out and about, although sometimes it's kind of cool to get items on the fly. Are you local? I think you're local. That is local. Let's pop this one open. I feel bad I'm not giving gifts out right now, but there's no one else in the, uh, the chat that have their names on my list. So if you are watching the stream and I don't see you in the chat, feel free to say hello. And uh, if you are new to the stream, new to the videos, new to the, uh, the channel as a whole, you can send me a friend request. You can see my friend code down over here. Send me the request, and when I say... I don't even need to say go right now, because I don't see anyone else in the chat. But, if you are here, you want to add me as a friend, feel free to let me know down in the chat. You can also add your friend code in the chat for other people to connect with you as well. Maybe get some international friends and get some uh, Alolan eggs sent all over the place. Uh, they're not secure on personal info. Oh, the PlayStation, right. They got hacked and personal info got stolen. Credit cards were used. Yeah, not bad. And hey, Seuss, welcome to the stream. You're just popping in to say hi and drop a like. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Do you play Pokemon Go? I don't remember. If you do, I've got a bunch of gifts I'm just looking to send out. If you have the, if you have a game, if you have a game, if you have an account in the game, remind me what it is and I'll just send you a gift right away. Because uh, since there's so few people here today, we're barely doing the go and drop a name thing down below. I'm just basically opening gifts from some local people to build up our friendship levels. And sending gifts out as people show up. You're local. I know that much. You've got from that same place we just saw. The Scotiabank commercial business thingy. There we go. A couple pinat berries. Very nice. I've also got... I'm just going to back out for one moment here. I've got, hey, Roselia, but I've got a mission, I've got two missions, to catch a Meowth or a Growlithe. The reward for that will be a an Electric, and I might get that taken care of. I basically want to try to free up as many of these missions as I can before Community Day starts tomorrow. That way I'll get a, get a bunch of uh, specific events, specific uh, tasks for the big EV Day itself. I don't see any Meowth or Growlithe. Oh, it's actually sunny out, so we could see some Growlithe in a little bit. I'll keep my peepers peeled for those puppies. Alright, let's open up some more gifts. And I don't see... Hello to... Let me try to pronounce this again. Verwigerd. Ver Verwigerd. Welcome. And hello to Glitch Mouse. Hello to Yara Lopez. If you want to send me a request, a friend request in Pokemon Go. You know what? Since we see some more names, 
I'm going to say Go in the chat. When you see the word Go, drop your username in Pokemon Go down below. I'm going to send out, I'm going to say I'm going to send three gifts this time. we got so many gifts backed up. We've got CRJ in the chat now as well. Let's go ahead and say Go. Throw me some names. Three names. If you don't have me in your friends list just yet in Pokemon Go, you can, of course, send me a request, and I'll confirm and send out a gift. i got a bunch of gifts waiting to roll. What's up, Glitch Mouse? Not too much. We have uh, Kropui043. Let's find you. Boom. Let's go by name. In fact, I've got so many gifts saved up. If I only see like a few names, I'm going to throw them all out there for you. Uh, Unknown Spike, you've caught your second Ditto for the Ditto mission. Nice. you got seven Alolan eggs and two regular eggs. And Joshua, you're hoping that one week you can get your girl to get you a box of Celestial Storm and get Mr. Mime GX. That would be very cool. Right, let's find the K's. Whereabouts? There you are. Now open your gift as well since we are here. So coming from the Netherlands. Actually, I'm glad I didn't hit open just yet. I want to see this colorful stone art. If you guys look at my Instagram, I posted this thing. Not to diminish from this, first of all. This is pretty cool looking. I like that. It looks like it's almost on the road. Hope it's not blocking traffic. But I like the look of that. So, in the uptown area here in my town, there's been this new thing they're doing. I think they do it like almost probably every year now. They get these fiberglass giant salmon statues, these figures, and they have local artists each decorate them differently. And I found seven of them today. I got photos and put them on my Instagram. So, kind of cool to look at all these different styles and such. All right, we got CRJ. One sec. Okay, CRJ2002 will send you a gift here. And I think you have one, or I have one waiting to open from you. No, I don't. But we're still going to send one off to you from that place I just opened a bunch of gifts from. The Scotiabank Commercial Banking Center. There you go. And we have Yer Lil King 75 There you are. I, say, I don't think I recognize the name just yet, but found you in the request right there. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. Why is this going to come so late in the alphabet? Quite a bit of lag, you say? Am I lagging out? It's certainly possible. I'm gonna say no with the way my internet connection's been sometimes. Although it's actually been really good lately. All right, let's send this off from the Market Square sculpture. Look at that fancy thing. I like trying to get photographs of Pokemon in around the sculpture when I'm trying to catch them. All right, and. Tina has dropped a friend code in the chat if you guys want to go ahead and confirm friends. And by the way, remember, I'm going to put on Discord. Also, if you don't know yet, I have a Discord. I'm going to set up a channel for Pokemon Go on the Discord. You guys can use that for exchanging friend codes in between streams and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, just go with that stuff. And hello to LEGO Deadpool. Sorry you're late. Not a problem. We still got a little bit of time left here. And I'm going to send you and Acer5000 both a gift right now. Because we don't have a lot of folks in here, but as people show up, I think today's more of like just a... It's almost like a first-come, first-serve kind of a day. So let's find you here. You are in the G's. Alex, right there. All right. Sending you off one here, a Lego Deadpool. We're going to open from yours. Open yours from you first and see what we get. Stardust. A couple of pinup berries and an Ultra Ball. Thank you. I'm going to be using those pinup berries most definitely for this weekend when Eevee are everywhere. So how many shiny Eevee are you folks all hoping to get? Because, of course, you know, there are six... Five different Eeveelutions right now. Why did I think six? Five different Eeveelutions in the game. If you get at least five, then you'll have enough to evolve into every form of, you know, if you get the shinies. So Acer 5000, that is Tukey. I know you're closer to the top. Let's just do this. Nope. Friendship level. There we go. Whereabouts will we find you at? And CRJ has sent the gift. I'll open that in a moment. But we're going to find Tukey 1954. We'll open your gift. Mr. Sharkbite has nuked the like button once again. Thank you very much. I appreciate every nuking of that button. The Helen Horn Wildflower Meadow. Sponsored by Zonta Club of Mississauga. Cool. I like how there's a giant, like, it's this nice field. Giant skyscraper in the back. It's kind of cool looking. A little, uh, what would you call that? Modernization in amongst the natural area. Oh, come on. It's going to be like this all weekend, isn't it? 
I'm trying to keep all my Pokeballs stocked up and my Pinat Berries and such. I'm going to use a bunch of potions today just to clear out some items too. But let's go ahead and open this up. And we'll send a gift out to uh, Tuki or Acer in the chat there. All right. Send gift. We've got from the Uptown Lighthouse. I'm not sure how many gifts I have left, but I'm just going to keep tossing them all out, of course. And hello to Johnny Sanchez. Welcome to our stream for the Pokemon Go gifting today. And Joshua is hoping to get nine shinies to get all evolutions. That's very cool stuff. I have a couple Eevee that are both 100%. And I was thinking, like, back before trading became a thing, I was going to hold off and do the, uh, you know, trade them to people so that they could get 100%. Then, turns out that you can't get, uh, you know, you're not guaranteed of getting those stats sent when you trade Pokemon over. These stats will re-roll. So I'm like, I guess I'll just hang on to my 100%. But then I realized... When Glaceon and Leafeon come into Gen 4, I've got two 100% Eevee already. They can each become Leafeon and Glaceon. So, although they're not shiny, of course, I at least have a couple guaranteed good Leafeon and Glaceon. And we'll see if I get shinies to evolve into the other forms as the weekend rolls around. And Tina has all five and have enough candy to evolve. No excellent stuff. Not bad. It's an interesting, it's an interesting background. It is, too. Yeah, like I said, nice natural field and great big old building lego deadpool thank you for doing that for me making a video telling your subs to sub to me i appreciate that again if they want to it is up to them individually uh oh we got an advertisement popping up let's just take that out for a moment now we might hear some music because the ads have been playing music lately one sec but thank you for doing so definitely lego deadpool and if you guys or girls if you folks want to check out Lego Deadpool's channel. Just click on the little triple dots over by their name in the chat, and you can go uh, click go to channel, and boom, you can get you can check out what they're doing. So give us a reminder, Lego Deadpool. So what do you do on your channel? Maybe people can go check out what uh, videos you have up there. So Joshua says there's a higher chance to get 100% if you are best friends, which is true. So I could hang on to the 100% for you know trading, but I now that I've kind of considered that I can get the Leafeon Glaceon 100%. I kind of want to keep them, I guess. Alright, so perfect for an Eevee. These were both wild... Were they wild catches? Hang on. I got Normster and Furster. This one was hatched. So this is fr fresh from the egg. 553 was 100%. Let me just confirm that. Battle with the best of them. Best is HP, attack, and defense. They're all the best he's ever seen. So 553 looks like it's the best when you hatch them. As for a wild capture, I think... Was this a wild catch? It was just a catch. But this one is also, as you'll see, battle with the best. HP, attack, defense. They're the best I've ever seen. Not bad. It's just because it's a lower level because it was a wild catch. And how often do you get a wild 100% capture? Right? I've gotten a few of them, but that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. So, yep. Hello to Monkey, first of all. Welcome to our stream today. And Acer has a good point. If you haven't used the name trick, you can use you can name those Eevees to guarantee the evolution. If you already used the name trick, walk Eevee to get Espeon and Umbreon. But Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon is all going to be luck, which is true. I kind of hope that they're going to allow people to reuse the nickname trick over this weekend. Wait, I should turn this back on. There we go. I was showing you guys all... Hang on. Ah, I didn't realize I had that turned off. I'm so not together with it today. Anyway, Normster. Right here. This was the hatch. You can see the egg. At 553, Norms can battle with the best. HP, attack, defense, they're all maximum. So if you're looking for 100% Eevee from the egg, 553 looks like it's the number to go for. This one here, Furster, was a wild capture. 254, which you can't really... Well, if you look at the arc, you can see what level it is. But, yeah, if you're looking for from the egg, it looks like 553. All right. Moving back on. So yes, as Acer says, there is a guaranteed way to get Espeon and Umbreon. If you walk an Eevee as your buddy for 10 kilometers at least, and then while it's still as your buddy, evolve it, it'll become either an Espeon during the daytime or Umbreon during the nighttime. So that's a guaranteed way. But the uh, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, they are still random, unfortunately. Unless they do something special this weekend to allow us to choose. So... As for me, I think... I don't know. S okay, so the thing about Eevee is... It's going to have a special move. Like, all 
Community Day Pokemon have a special move. This one's going to know Last Resort. Now, it doesn't say the Eeveelutions are going to have specific moves. They say Eevee. Let me see here. Uh, this special attack will only be available for Eevee that are caught or hatched during the Community Day event. So, the Eeveelutions are not going to have specific attacks. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, exclusive attacks, so it's just Eevee. So that being the case, I might not even evolve any of my shiny Eevee, if, assuming I get at least some, you know. I might keep them all as is, and uh, hold on to them for trading purposes. But then I might want to, I don't know, I might want to evolve for the video, because I'm going to record for this weekend's event. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, so let's continue on. 415 is a perfect CP for a research encounter, says Alex B. Thank you for letting us know that number there. If you get Eevee from a research task, 415 is the number that you're looking for. And fun fact, says Josh, about your in-game name. You actually can do Maximilian Pegasus. Hmm, Kaiba boy. You left. You met your idol at the YCS qualifier in 2012 and, you're, and demoed your impression. He was quite impressed. Hmm, sounds impressive. I don't know if I'm doing a very good impression or not, but I'm basing it off of the Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged. Alright, Unknown Spike says, you hope to get all the shiny Eevees this weekend. Well, you should save some for the rest of us, though, is the thing. I mean, good luck to you for sure, but make sure we get some. Alright, so does anybody else have a username? I was going to say go. Drop the uh, go there. If you have a username in Pokemon Go, you want to get a gift, drop your name. And if i got gifts left, I will send out a couple more. And in the meantime, I only got two gifts left, by the way. In the meantime, I'll just keep opening stuff for myself and see what I happen to get. I have nothing else I can really toss out right now. Oh no! We'll wait and see what happens. Uh, it'll have Last Resort. The Pokemon Go Twitter account confirmed that Eevee, Eevee Evolved will have Last Resort. Oh! So, all the Eeveelutions are going to have Last Resort. Interesting. Maybe I will have to evolve then. Alright, so I think... I've already sent the gift to Lego Deadpool. Let me just confirm here. Go to the G's. Uh, G F K I O. There we go. Yeah, I sent a gift already. I see Unkempt Beast. I don't think I recognize that name just yet. There you are. Boom. Confirm that one. Let's find you in alphabetical. Again, why is it going to be at the bottom? Just one sec, yeah. I'll send out my next to last gift, my penultimate gift, if you will. All the way, all the way, Unkempt Beast. Where? Where? I can't alphabet, just show me. There you are. Alright, boom. Unkempt Beast walking a 91% Larvitar. Very cool. Boom. From the Moose statue. That Larvitar deserves a moose, apparently. There you go. And Joshua says, your Team Rocket, you'll just steal one from him. What? Alright, so there's no one else I don't see in the chat right now. I'm going to open up the last of my gifts. We'll give time for more people to show up. And let's just see what I get for my last little batch of gifts here. I should be almost maxed out, too. Oh, look, look. He's walking an Eevee. Brighter 49. From the Fort Latour Recreation. I've never been down there. I want to go there at some point. They have all these cool, like... In our city, we have this thing called Harbor Passage. It's like a, a red walking trail. I have all these neat monuments and stuff set up. I haven't spun the stops, but I'm waiting for another sort of like adventure week where it says spin X number of new stops. Because there's a lot of stops in the area. Like, look, my home area here. There's like five, no, far, sorry, four just down the road I haven't spun. There's a couple up the street now, too. I haven't spun those either. But I want to wait until we have like an adventure week to get, you know, bonus stuff for that. Because eventually, I'm gonna, if I spun every new stop as it shows up, I'm going to run out of new stops to spin whenever there's a special event going on. So I kind of want to be forward-thinking and keep things nice and reserved. So from CRJ, let's pop this one open. Team Mystic. Okay, I'm going to send you a gift. I remember your oh, bag is full. It is a Luis. Yes, Luis Hernandez. Okay. One sec. What do I toss? Well, I can toss revives. I can pick up more of those along the way. Let's open this from the community center here in Wales, United Kingdom from CRJ. Hello to Corey Coxon. Welcome to our stream today. Just about finishing up, I've got one last gift to send out. Look at that, Max Revive. We toss out 10 revives, get a Max Revive. That's not a bad little trade-off. 
All right, go by nickname. We've got Team Mystic for our final gift of the day. And I'll open your gift as well. Let's see what we get from the Santa Fe Railway Memorial uh, Paver. Paver? You can read that if you like. Pause the video. Hey, it's got Bart in there. Location of Bart Tracks. Excuse me, Bart Tracks. Is that from the Simpsons Holiday Special? All right, let's open this up. And... Let's go right ahead. So yes, Tina has dropped a friend code again there, folks. If you want to send some requests to Carico to get another local New Brunswick Canadian person on your friends list. That's the last gift we're sending out right there right now. But maybe uh, Tina's got some for you. Also, stay tuned because after the chat, sorry, after the, uh, the stream, I'm going to be opening up the Discord. I'm going to make a channel for Pokemon Go on Discord. So if you're on Discord, you can go check out mine. There's a link in the description and get connected on that. And get yourself maybe some friend codes tossed around in there for some international friends with Alolan eggs being a potential thing and all that good stuff. Let's see if we have any more locals to open again. You know what? Forget local. My friend Evan, he lives on PEI. I'm going to take that anyway. Let's see what Evan has for us from all the way over there. I was going to say, watch it say that I'm blocked out. I have no more gifts. And Josh, we just tossed the regular potions, eh? I mean... I could, but I'm a lot more economical than that. I think if I have a Pokemon that's taken 19 damage, I'd rather use a single potion rather than waste a max potion on something like that. Because, like, I just, I don't know. I'm always like that where it's like, what's the minimum amount that I can use? The min uh, minimum cost of myself, basically. All right, who else can we open up from? Are there any other local peoples? See, I could just nickname people and put, like, uh, just put local in their name, I guess, as a nickname. Maybe I should do that eventually. All right, from Calvin Hobbs, the Market Square Sculptor. Never mind, I'm maxed out anyways. All right. So that is all we have available for opening my own gifts and sending out gifts. All right. Let's see here. Lego Deadpool said, so you just went on your recent searches and it said that I, I hacked or I have been hacked? What? Not that I'm aware of. Weird. Unknown Spike wants to uh, wants to catch enough so you have all the EV evolutions. I gotcha. Alex B has sent the gift. <sighs> I've just opened all the gifts, unfortunately. But thank you. What's your username again, by the way? So I can uh, make a note of it so I can open up a gift next time. And I'm assuming I'll go across the street at some point to the old local gym. Maybe I'll get a gift over there and send one to you as soon as the stream is done. All right, but that's going to be a wrap for today. Kind of short but sweet. The gifts have been sent. The gifts have been opened. Hopefully everybody is ready to roll tomorrow for the EV Community Day. Also, don't forget it goes on Sunday as well. Let's hope we can all get... Oh, it said you're hacked. Huh? That's weird. Hopefully it's not one of those weird things where it's like... A, oh, Unkempt Beast. Okay. So yeah, I've opened up all the gifts, but I'll try to keep in mind. I've, act I've sent you one, actually, so that's kind of good. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, LEGO Deadpool, it's just one of those little annoying things that is like a spam pop-up saying, Oh, you've been hacked. Download this program to clear out your computer and undo the hacking. Whereas the program they're trying to give you is actually the hacking program. They're trying to get you. They catch people with that on occasion, and it's not good. It's not the right thing for them to be doing, but, you know, hackers be hackers. All right, but that is going to be it. So tomorrow and on Sunday, shiny EV everywhere for three hours per day. You're also getting triple Stardust, bear in mind. So use those star pieces if you got them. I've got a fair amount myself I'll be going through. How many do I got? I got seven. I'll probably burn through all of them over the weekend. Also, there's going to be some special boxes available for sale, I'm sure. I don't see them yet. But they should have some stuff. We're probably going to get star pieces, some incubators perhaps. All kinds of cool stuff. I'm looking forward to tomorrow and the next day. I was going to say, what is that floating over the Pokestop? Oh, it's the heart. The motivation meter. Whatever. It's no big deal. All right, but that's going to be it for today. So, again, stay tuned. Uh, click on the link in the description if you want to go check out the Discord and get caught up or get caught up, get started on doing some friend to code exchanges in that. And not much more to be said right now. I'm going to go grab myself a little bit of a nap because I'm still not feeling super amazing. And uh, hopefully I'll be just uh, right as rain for our stream tonight for some Wonder Trading, which I didn't do yesterday because I needed the day. But Wonder Trading for the Gligar from last week. I'm going to talk a little bit about the schedule for these streams in the upcoming weeks and stuff there too during our stream tonight. 
All right, so with that, it is time to roll. Thank you folks for tuning in, and congratulations to everyone that got the gifts today. Hopefully everybody's gonna get some cool EVs tomorrow for the special community day, day one. And well, that's it. Have yourselves a good evening for the time being, but if you're gonna be here for the wonder trading later on tonight, I will see you back here in about, what is that? Two and a half hours time, I think that is. So, we'll see you in a little bit, folks. Have yourselves a good day in the meantime, and Professor Chaz is temporarily signing off. I'll catch you all next time. And don't forget, the Discord is going to be updated in just a moment.